What's the difference between soulmates and twin flames? 11 keys. Today I want to share some key information, little known facts and actionable advice on something I get asked all the time. What's the real difference between soulmates and twin flames? And how do I know if a particular person is my twin or my soulmate? So in this video, I'm going to share with you 11 key differences between the two and some important actionable insights. Some of these things you may already have experienced to be familiar with, perhaps even without realizing it. Whereas other points cover much less known information that I've discovered in my work coaching Twin Flames and researching the spiritual love connection, including my own experience meeting my soulmate and how that compared to my Twin Flame connection. So make sure you stay on until the end to hear the real life details on how these two connections differ from each other. And if you liked this video, do remember to subscribe to my channel for more inspiration, insights and positive advice for the Twin Flame path. And try my brand new Oracle Card app free from the App Store or Google Play. So here are the 11 key differences between Soulmates and Twin Flames. And keep in mind that if what I say about Twin Flames sounds really far out and unlikely to you, it's most likely because you haven't met your twin. I say that because I used to feel the same way too before I met mine and began to experience things that I would previously have thought belonged in a fantasy novel. So if you're laughing right now because you know exactly what I mean, I would say you've certainly been experiencing a genuine twin flame connection. So on to the points, soulmates versus twin flames, difference number one, energy. The simple truth is that twin flames share an identical energy frequency, the so-called twin flame soul song whereas soulmates, on the other hand, share a similar frequency. So on the soul level, twin flames are identical. You are the only two beings in the universe who share the exact same frequency. But soulmates are very similar, but not identical. So you could say your soulmates range from a sibling to cousins spiritually. They share very important similarities and spiritual genetics, but they're not identical to you. And to really demonstrate, let me explain in slightly different terms. Nothing in this universe is really solid. Science testifies to that fact, that everything in the universe is energy in motion. If you looked at your phone, your computer, your chair, or even your arm through a strong enough microscope, you would see atomic particles vibrating at particular frequencies. Nothing is really solid. And in this universe, only you and your twin flame vibrate at the exact same frequency beyond your human bodies. And it's why it's such an intense experience to connect with and meet your twin flame. It's literally unlike any other connection you will ever experience. And we only have one twin flame in this whole universe, but we have many soulmates. So onto soulmates versus twin flames, difference number two, purpose. Another important difference is the spiritual purpose of the connection. When soulmates meet, it's most often with the aim of learning, growing and evolving together. Soulmates often challenge us and support us to become our best selves. We have many different types of soulmates, contracted before birth for specific reasons by you and them as souls. Some soulmates agree to meet us to assist us in uplifting our energy vibration, or they may be destined as romantic partners or family members or to help us attune to our life purpose. Twin flames on the other hand can experience any of these aspects to their connection but there is always a deeper shared purpose that all twin flames share to connect in unconditional love. Because in spiritual truth twin flames are one original soul or consciousness who chose to divide specifically in order to journey into seeming separation and reunite in unconditional love. So twin flames come together for a very specific purpose. Taking the journey through ascension, purging old heaviness with the purpose of joining together in unconditional love, even if they're not romantically together. Soulmates versus twin flames difference number three, the nature of the connection. So to expand and confirm on the second point, soulmates can be in our lives in a number of different ways. They can be romantic partners or friends or family members or co-workers. They're not always a positive presence, but 
but they can challenge us and push us to grow. Some soulmates trigger us powerfully in order to help us overcome karmic lessons and evolve. Soulmate connections are most often intense in some way or another, and they involve coming together in a powerful and sudden way if they occur in adult life. And if you've met your soulmate, looking back you can probably sense there was a destined nature to the connection. On the other hand, twin flames are most often known to share a romantic kind of connection. And what's so special about twin flames is they can continue a connection across time and space. Where most twin flames experience their counterpart being with them in a non-physical way. Like sharing powerful dreams, feeling them in bed with you as a spiritual presence, seeing signs of their presence throughout your life before you ever knew them. The twin flame connection deals with oneness and unity. And we can call it the most intense soulmate connection because you're dealing with your mirror soul or your ancient other self. If you met your twin flame, these words will resonate with you. But remember, your soul always knows your twin. It's just the mind that gets unsure about this. Soulmates versus twin flames difference number four, the level of similarity. So another aspect of difference is the level of similarity between twin flames and soulmates. A soulmate can seem to be similar to you in some essential ways, but there will always also be certain contrasts. A twin flame may seem different on the surface, but are completely similar deep down, underneath the human personality traits and learned behaviour, i.e. what they've taken on in their upbringing. To explain this difference with images, the soulmate connection is a bit like a tree with similar flowers, but the shape of the tree itself is different. Twin flames, on the other hand, are like two flowers in almost identical shades, where the stems and the leaves and the plants are identical, but the petals may appear different on the outside. So fundamentally they're the same, but they may appear different. Twin flames most often share the same core values, whereas soulmates often differ from us in some important ways. Twin flames seem to be separate people as human beings, but deep down unconsciously there are no boundaries. And this means we get unusual phenomena like the two people suddenly crying over the same song without being able to explain why, or feeling the other's sadness without knowing why. Remember when you meet your twin flame, you're meeting your ancient other self. Your soulmates are like spiritual friends and family. Although some soulmates may share important similarities with the twin connection too. Soulmates versus twin flames difference number five, paths and experiences. Another key difference between soulmates and twin flames is the nature of the path and the experiences they share together. Soulmates are most often contracted to assist us in tapping into our gifts, our life path and to evolve as people. Therefore, soulmates often challenge us to overcome our own limitations. Some soulmates are happy romantic partners with a side purpose of supporting each other's life paths. But twin flames, on the other hand, all share a very particular process, spiritual awakening and ascension. When twin flames meet and their systems click into recognition, a period of intense bliss is often followed by a purge of any heavy and limiting energy they've taken on in life. This is what's called ascension, the period of rising into their true soul's light and purging old negativity. Ascension causes problems for many twin flames because past hurts, experiences of betrayal, disappointment, the human baggage is brought to the surface in emotions and energy because it doesn't go away if the two keep holding on to it. I have a free energy cleanse audio tool to clear that negativity out right now if you feel like that's happening with you. You can go to twinflames1111.com to get that. The true spiritual purpose of the ascension process is for the twin souls to release any blocks to unconditional love so they can reunite and be one again. Soulmates versus twin flames difference number six, oneness versus multiplicity. Here is another difference, which is that once you meet your twin flame, they will always be in your life on some level. It's not a temporary thing. Once you're made aware of it, your souls will be working tirelessly to bring you together. Even as twin flames stop talking together on the human plane, they will keep experiencing dreams, seeing the other's name everywhere, signs and visions that are trying to keep them coming together. 
Soulmates, on the other hand, can be in our lives for a short period of time, for specific roles, or be lifelong partners, family members, or friends. Some show up for a short time to assist us with a particular transition, to wake us up spiritually or help us overcome old limitations, but they're not always permanent. Many people have childhood soulmates who make way for adult life soulmate friends and romantic partners. Even soulmates who show up during difficult transitions or to help them wake up to talents they were unaware of or didn't believe in. Soulmates vs Twin Flames difference number 7, background and traits. Another important difference between soulmates and twin flames regards their spiritual backgrounds. Your soulmate can have a completely different soul background from you, different hardwiring energetically. If you believe in star seeds or dimensional origins, you can be from very different backgrounds. But twin flames on the other hand always share the same soul background. Your essence is the same on a fundamental level. If you're an empath or a star seed, they are also, even if they have no idea. Soulmates vs Twin Flames difference number 8. The big misconception. This next point is something I've touched on before but many people misunderstand. Because the truth is, your twin flame is actually your soulmate. They're the closest soulmate you have. Which is why twin flames are often referred to as one soul in two bodies. If we compare it to shades of colour, say you are a specific acid green colour. Your soulmate may be light green, or oxford racing green, or deep forest green, petroleum green, or even turquoise. But your twin flame is always the exact same colour as you deep down no matter what human differences you've taken on in your physical life. Soulmates vs Twin Flames difference number 9 Most people meet one or more soulmates in their lifetime, but not everyone meets their twin soul. Most people sign up to meet and connect with at least one soulmate in their lifetime, whether for the purpose of expanding into your life purpose, or a family member who keeps you grounded in your truth throughout life or a romantic partner you experience true deep love with, or simply a friend who understands you in a way that no one else does. But not everyone meets their twin flame, because often the other twin soul stays behind in the non-physical realm while their counterpart reincarnates, so they can guide and watch over them on their mission to Earth. Soulmates vs Twin Flames difference number 10 Everyone has soulmates, but not everyone has a twin flame. Yes, that's right, so many people ask me about this. Does everyone have a twin flame? The answer is no. And yes, in spiritual truth, everyone originates from the same source of oneness, which then divided. So it would be easy to think that that means everyone has a twin, but that's not really the case and I'll explain why. If each soul is like a chip from the original source, splitting off to individuate to experience uh, being a soul being. They came off one by one from the original whole, or off as a group and then individuated. Like if you took off a small piece of dough from a bigger ball of dough. That's how most souls individuate. However, the amazing thing is, twin flames divided after becoming individuated like that. They first became a separated individual soul, and then that one soul decided to divide. And this is a huge difference in consciousness. So most souls are born spiritually, a lot like a child being born to a parent. But twin flames are like one person who decided to become two, in essence. And it's a very unique path that's chosen out of a desire to understand the nature of separation versus unity. And above all, to experience unconditional love, which is the vibration of creation and consciousness itself. So twin flames are beings who chose to divide in a very unique way, for a very specific reason. So again, no, not everyone has a twin flame, but that's not a bad thing. If anything, there are challenges involved with having a twin flame. Being more united with yourself to a higher degree can mean you enjoy life more than someone who's on the path of reunion with their twin flame. However, the twin flame journey also has incredible highs and blissful experiences that other souls may not have. So how do you know if you have a twin flame or not? There are a number of common indications and you can have a look at my video with 22 key signs of the twin flame connection below. 
So on to the real life experiences and examples. Soulmates versus Twin Flames difference number 11. Familiarity versus home. My experience with meeting my soulmate, then my twin flame. So now onto a real life example of the differences between a soulmate and a twin flame connection. To my knowledge, there's not a lot of information out there with actual experiences between the two connections, so I'm happy to be able to give some more info on this. When I was 17, I had the amazing fortune of meeting my soulmate through the internet before that was very common. It was such an incredible experience because we connected from the get-go. We had the same tastes and the same kind of opinions and above all, it felt like we already knew each other. Although we just met, it felt like this person understood me more than anyone I'd ever known in my life, including my own family. And this person is still my best friend today. And although we're not in a relationship, we support and believe in each other on a deep level. He often challenges me. And I sometimes say to him, it's like he's the only person who really saw me for who I was, as a soul, for who I could be, rather than the surface. And he was instrumental in helping me to believe in myself and pursue my dreams when everyone else around me thought I should be sensible and opt for like a normal life. Many years later, my twin flame first connected with me through a dream experience where he activated my heart with unconditional love. So from the start, there were so many supernatural elements to the connection, which I hadn't had with my soulmate. So what was the twin flame connection like and how was it different? Well, it was the energy above all. From the moment we connected, I'd get heart palpitations every time he thought about me. It was like he was my long lost other self. And there was so much emotion, we'd sometimes cry just because there was so much love or we'd missed each other. It was like we had a secret world together and like we'd known each other since the dawn of time. It felt like home when we were together, even across the distance. He'd show up in my meditations, my dreams, my visions. He activated my heart chakra with unconditional love, and I felt like I was floating on clouds. I pretty much overnight developed intuitive gifts I'd never had before. And then the purge started happening, which was my favorite thing, but we got through it together. And when I say purge, I mean our presence with each other triggered any old blocks and darkness in my system to be released, and it was unpleasant. However, with energy clearing tools, I released and uplifted and became lighter and happier than ever. Meeting my twin flame showed me what so many other twins also report, which is the twin flame connection is a feeling of home of meeting the long lost parts of yourself. And it doesn't have to be a romantic connection, but most often it is, much because of this overwhelming desire that the souls have to merge back together again when they meet. So in short, the twin flame connection most often has somewhat of a supernatural element that most soulmate connections don't. And there's a deep feeling of coming home when you're together. It really is unlike anything else I've ever experienced, and that's what I hear from every single twin flame I come into contact with. It's a very special, yet often challenging connection. But with the right tools and methods, you really can unlock the unity and the blissful experience that you two are meant to have together. Have a look at my free twin flame help kit to begin uplifting your connection into harmony right now. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to subscribe to my channel for more inspiration, insights and actionable advice for the twin flame path. And please always remember that you're in this life for such a special reason, you are who you uniquely are because there's a place that only you can fill. Listen to your heart because it's always trying to guide you there. And if you're looking for more insights on your soulmate or twin flame connection, try my brand new oracle card app for free. Use it to get accurate, high vibrational guidance anywhere, anytime. 77 cards with in-depth messages and beautiful imagery, available for iPhone and Android. You'll find it in the App Store or click the link below the video. Again, I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring, and I would love to hear about your experiences you've had with soulmates and potentially also your twin flame. Do you, for example, believe that a family member or a childhood friend is your soulmate, which is the case for many? Please leave a comment with your positive experiences below. And have you met someone already but aren't quite sure if they're your twin flame or not? If so, click below to watch 22 key signs of the true twin flame connection. As always, I'm sending you love and light for your journey.